Section 1 of Serto, a short cut to better jams and jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Serto, a short cut to better jams and jellies by General Foods Corporation. The steps to follow. 1. Prepare fruit. Select fully ripe fruit. Wash, then prepare exactly as recipe directs. If fruit lacks tartness, Add a quarter cup lemon juice when adding sugar. For separating juice for jelly, use one yard square of canton flannel, spread over colander. Place prepared fruit in cloth, bring corners together and twist while pressing down on bag. To make jellies from dripped juice, use twice the amount of fruit called for in recipe. 2. Prepare glasses. Wash, scald, and drain the glasses and tin covers needed, and melt paraffin in a small pot over hot water while making jelly or jam. Use new paraffin. Old paraffin often causes spoilage. If tin covers are not available, cut out circles of paper to paste over tops of glasses. 3. Measure sugar and fruit. Use the same standard measuring cup, holding a half a pint, level full, for both sugar and fruit. If sugar is weighed, weigh fruit also. To measure fruit for jam, pack slowly into cup until juice and fruit come to top. If there is a slight shortage, fill last cup, or fraction of cup with water if not quite enough juice for jelly mix water with pulp in jelly bag and squeeze again four cook rapidly for quickest jelly making use an aluminum kettle or saucepan six to eight quart size the kettle or saucepan should be less than one half full of sugar and fruit to permit a full rolling boil a boil which cannot be stirred down use hottest flame if fire is slow Keep kettle covered after sugar is dissolved until mixture comes to a boil. Stir while coming to a boil and while boiling. 5. Add serto. For jelly, add serto as soon as fruit juice and sugar mixture comes to a boil. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil for exactly half a minute, stirring constantly. For jam, cook fruit and sugar mixture at full rolling boil for exactly one minute, stirring constantly. Then remove from fire and stir in serto time boil by the clock. 6. Skim, pour, paraffin. Skim jelly and pour directly from saucepan into clean, freshly scalded glasses. Skim and stir jam for five minutes by turns. This cooling helps prevent floating fruit. Ladle into glasses, leave half an inch space at top of each glass, cover at once with one-eighth inch of hot paraffin. When cool, cover glasses with scalded tin covers or tightly pasted paper covers. Be sure to store in cool, dry place. End of section one, read by Inkel. Section two of Serto, a shortcut to better jams and jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Serto, a shortcut to better jams and jellies by General Foods Corporation. To make jelly and jam together. The recipes on this page and the next show how to make both jelly and jam from the same batch of fruit. Here is the very latest shortcut in jelly making applied to the two most popular fruits, strawberries and grapes. Strawberry jelly and jam. Sparkling strawberry jelly, four cups, two pounds berry juice, seven and one half cups, three and one fourth pounds sugar, one bottle serto. To prepare juice, place five quarts uncrushed strawberries in kettle. Add one half cup sugar and mix. This sugar is in addition to seven and one half cups specified above. Cover kettle and heat gently until juice starts to flow. Then bring just to the simmering point. Place in colander or sieve lined with double layer of cheesecloth. Drain four cups juice. Use remaining fruit for whole strawberry jam below. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, constantly stirring. 
Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once makes about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Whole Strawberry Jam 4 cups, 2 pounds, strawberries, 7 cups, 3 pounds, sugar, 1 half bottle, Serto. To prepare fruit, use strawberries remaining from sparkling jelly above. Measure sugar and strawberries into large kettle, filling up last cup with the excess juice, if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about ten glasses, six fluid ounces each. Concord Grape Jelly and Butter Concord Grape Jelly 4 cups, 2 pounds juice 7 cups, 3 pounds sugar 1 half bottle Serto To prepare juice, stem about 5 and 1 half pounds fully ripe grapes and crush thoroughly. Add 1 half cup water, cover, and simmer 5 minutes. Place in large sieve lined with double layer of cheesecloth. Drain four cups juice. Remove cheesecloth and use fruit remaining in sieve for Concord grape butter below. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire. Add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about ten glasses, six fluid ounces each. Concord Grape Butter Five cups, two and one half pounds, prepared pulp. Seven and one half cups, three and one fourth pounds, sugar. One half bottle Serto. To prepare pulp, rub grapes, remaining from Concord grape jelly above, through sieve. Measure sugar and prepared pulp into large kettle. If necessary, fill up last cup with the excess juice or water. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in Serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about twelve glasses. Six fluid ounces each. End of section two. Read to you by K.T. Jones. Section 3 of Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Red Currant Jelly elderberry jelly, and black raspberry jelly. Red currant jelly. Five cups, two and one half pounds juice. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. One half bottle Serto. To prepare juice, crush about four pounds fully ripe fruit. Add one cup water, bring to a boil, cover, and simmer 10 minutes. Place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire 
and at once add Serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Blackberry jelly, boysenberry jelly, dewberry jelly, loganberry jelly, red raspberry jelly, strawberry jelly, youngberry jelly. 4 cups, 2 pounds juice, 7 and 1 half cups, 3 and 1 fourth pounds sugar, 1 bottle Serto. To prepare juice, crush thoroughly or grind about 3 quarts fully ripe berries. Place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. If berries lack tartness, substitute 1 fourth cup lemon juice for 1 fourth cup prepared juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Sour cherry jelly, three and one half cups, one and three fourth pound juice, seven cups, three pounds sugar, one bottle Serto. To prepare juice, stem and crush about three pounds fully ripe cherries. Do not pit. Add one half cup water, bring to a boil, cover, and simmer 10 minutes. For stronger cherry flavor, Add 1 fourth teaspoon almond extract before pouring. Place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add Serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 10 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Jelly from canned fruit juice. Use unsweetened juice. Follow recipe for fresh fruit jelly, substituting 1 fourth cup strained lemon juice for 1 fourth cup of the fruit juice specified. For fresh fruit jelly recipes, See Index to Jelly Recipes, page 2. Elderberry Jelly, Black Raspberry Jelly. 3 and 1 half cups, 1 and 3 fourth pounds berry juice. 1 half cup lemon juice. 7 and 1 half cups, 3 and 1 fourth pounds sugar. 1 bottle Serto. To prepare juice, Remove larger stems from about four pounds fully ripe berries. Place in saucepan and crush. Heat gently until juice starts to flow. Then simmer, covered, 15 minutes. Place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Squeeze and strain juice from four medium lemons. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add Serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove the saucepan from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. End of section 3. Read by Marissa D. Six, Largo, Florida, June 4th, 2023. Section 4 of Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. 
For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Sarto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies, by General Foods Corporation. Red Raspberry and Currant Jelly, Plum Jelly, and Prune Jelly. Red Raspberry and Currant Jelly. Four and one half cups, two and one fourth pounds juice. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. One half bottle sarto. To prepare juice, crush thoroughly about one and one half pounds fully ripe currants. Add one half cup water, bring to a boil. Crush thoroughly one and one half quarts fully ripe raspberries. Place fruits in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan. Mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Rhubarb Jelly 3 and 1 half cups, 1 and 3 fourth pounds juice. 7 and 1 half cups, 3 and 1 fourth pounds sugar. 1 bottle Sarto to prepare juice, cut about three pounds of fully ripe red stalked rhubarb into one inch pieces and put through food chopper. Place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add sarto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Grape Jelly 4 cups, 2 pounds juice. 7 cups, 3 pounds sugar. 1 half bottle Sarto. To prepare juice, stem about three pounds fully ripe grapes. Crush thoroughly. Add one half cup water, bring to a boil, cover, and simmer ten minutes. Place in jelly bag and squeeze out juice. Concord grapes give best color and flavor. If malagas or other tight skin grapes are used, use three and one half cups grape juice and add juice of two medium lemons. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add sarto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 10 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. Grape Jelly from Bottled Juice 2 cups, 1 pound juice 3 cups, 1 and 1 fourth pounds sugar 1 half bottle Sarto Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. If unsweetened juice is used, increase sugar by 1 half cup. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add Sarto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about five glasses, six fluid ounces each. Plum jelly, prune jelly. Four cups, two pounds juice. Seven and one half cups, three and one fourth pounds sugar. One half bottle Sarto. To prepare juice, crush thoroughly about four pounds fully ripe fruit. Do not peel or pit. Add one cup water, 
bring to a boil, cover, and simmer 10 minutes. Place in jelly cloth or bag. Squeeze out juice. Sour, clingstone plums make best jelly. If sweet plums or freestone prunes are used, substitute one-half cup strained lemon juice for one-half cup of the plum juice specified. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about 11 glasses, six fluid ounces each. End of section four. Read by Marissa D. Six, Largo, Florida, June 4th, 2023. Section 5 of Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Grapefruit Jelly. 2. Gooseberry Jelly. Grapefruit Jelly. 3 and 1 half cups one and three quarter pounds juice seven cups three pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare juice grate rind from four medium grapefruit and squeeze out juice add juice to grated rind and let stand for ten minutes press juice through small cloth measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each peach jelly three cups one and one half pounds juice six and one half cups two and three quarter pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare juice remove pits from about three and one half pounds peaches do not peel crush peaches thoroughly add one half cup water bring to a boil cover and simmer five minutes place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about nine glasses six fluid ounces each apple jelly from fresh tart apples crab apple jelly five cups two and one half pounds juice seven and one half cups three and one quarter pounds sugar one half bottle serto to prepare juice remove blossom and stem ends from about three and one half pounds fully ripe fruit and cut apples into small pieces do not peel or core add three cups water cover and simmer ten minutes Crush with masher and simmer covered five minutes longer. With soft, very sweet apples, add juice of one lemon to prepare juice before measuring. Place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about 12 glasses six fluid ounces each mint jelly one half cup apple vinegar one and one quarter cups water three and one half cups one and one half pounds sugar green coloring one half bottle serto wash one packed cup spearmint leaves and stems place in saucepan and crush add vinegar and water bring quickly to a boil remove from fire cover and let stand 10 minutes add sugar and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire during which time add green coloring use coloring which fruit acids do not fade as soon as mixture boils add serto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute 
remove from fire and skim strain hot jelly into glasses paraffin at once makes about five glasses six fluid ounces each or omit mint leaves and add one half to one and one half teaspoons spearmint extract after jelly is removed from fire gooseberry jelly four cups two pounds juice seven cups three pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare juice crush thoroughly about three pounds fully ripe gooseberries add one half cup water bring to a boil cover and simmer ten minutes place in jelly bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each end of section five section six of surto a shortcut to better jams and jellies this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org read by betty b surto a shortcut to better jams and jellies by general foods corporation beech plum jelly to wild cherry jelly and choke cherry jelly beech plum jelly four cups two pounds juice seven and one half cups three and one quarter pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare juice crush thoroughly do not pit or peel about four pounds fully ripe fruit add three and one half cups water bring to a boil and simmer covered thirty minutes place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each quince jelly four and one half cups two and one quarter pounds juice seven and one half cups three and one quarter pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare juice remove blossom and stem ends from about three pounds fully ripe quinces do not peel grind add four and one half cups water simmer covered fifteen minutes place in jelly cloth squeeze out juice if fruit lacks tartness add two tablespoons lemon juice to quince juice before measuring measure sugar and juice into large saucepan mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes eleven glasses six fluid ounces each quince and cranberry jelly four and one half cups two and one quarter pounds juice seven cups three pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare juice remove cores blossom and stem ends from about one and one half pounds fully ripe quinces do not peel grind fine add one pound fully ripe cranberries and four and one half cups water bring to a boil and simmer covered fifteen minutes place fruits in jelly cloth and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each guava jelly three and one half cups one and three quarter pounds guava juice one half cup lemon juice seven cups three pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare juice slice thin about two pounds fully ripe guavas add two and one quarter cups boiling water and crush thoroughly five minutes place in jelly bag squeeze out juice squeeze and strain juice from four medium lemons add red coloring if desired measure sugar and juice into large saucepan mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly 
paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each wild cherry jelly choke cherry jelly three cups one and one half pounds juice six and one half cups two and three quarter pounds sugar one bottle surto to prepare juice stem about three pounds fully ripe cherries add three cups water bring to a boil cover and simmer fifteen minutes for strong cherry pit flavor add four tablespoons crushed pits during simmering or one quarter teaspoon almond extract before pouring place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about nine glasses six fluid ounces each end of section six section seven of certo a short cut to better jams and jellies this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. certo a short cut to better jams and jellies by general foods corporation rhubarb and strawberry jelly through pineapple jelly rhubarb and strawberry jelly four cups two pounds of juice eight cups three and a half pounds of sugar one bottle certo to prepare juice cut about one pound fully ripe rhubarb in one inch pieces and put through food chopper crush thoroughly or grind about two quarts fully ripe strawberries combined fruits place in a jelly bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard at one half of a minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once mix about twelve glasses six fluid ounces each currant and strawberry jelly four and a half cups two and one fourth pounds juice seven and a half cups three and one fourth pounds sugar one half bottle certo to prepare juice crush thoroughly about one and a half pounds fully ripe currants add a half a cup water and bring to a boil crush thoroughly or grind about one and a half quarts fully ripe strawberries combined fruits place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard half a minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once mix about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each apricot jelly three and a half cups one and three fourths pounds apricot juice one half cup lemon juice seven cups three pounds sugar one bottle certo to prepare juice pit do not peel about five pounds fully ripe apricots add three-fourths cup water bring to a boil and simmer uncovered twenty minutes place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice squeeze and strain juice from four medium lemons measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add surto stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half of a minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each blueberry and sour cherry jelly three and one half cups 
one and three fourth pounds juice seven cups three pounds sugar one bottle certo to prepare juice crush about one quart fully ripe blueberries stem and crush about two pounds fully ripe cherries do not pit add one fourth cup water bring to a boil and simmer covered ten minutes place fruits in jelly cloth and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add certo stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once mix about ten glasses six fluid ounces each pineapple jelly three cups one and a half pounds juice six and a half cups two and three fourths pounds sugar one bottle certo to prepare juice pare two medium fully ripe pineapples chop very fine or grind place in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add certo stirring constantly then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute remove from fire skim pour quickly paraffin at once mix about nine glasses six fluid ounces each end of section seven read by angus patterson june twenty twenty three Section 8 of Certo, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Stacy M. Certo, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Sour Cherry and Gooseberry Jelly. 4 cups, 2 pounds juice. 7 cups, 3 pounds sugar, 1 bottle certo. To prepare juice, stem, do not pit, and crush about 2 pounds fully ripe cherries. Crush about 1 and a half pounds fully ripe gooseberries. Combine fruits. Add 1 quarter cup water, bring to a boil, cover and simmer 10 minutes. Place fruit in jelly cloth or bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add certo, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin hot jelly at once. Mix about 11 glasses, 6 fluid ounces each. End of section 8. Section 9 of Certo, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Certo, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Lime Jelly, 3 fourths cup or 3 eighths pound juice. 1 and 3 fourths cups water, 4 cups or 1 and 3 fourths pounds of sugar, green coloring, 1 half bottle certo. To prepare juice, grate rind from 5 limes and squeeze juice from 8 to 10. Add juice to grated rinds and let stand 10 minutes. Press juice through small cloth. Measure sugar, juice, and water into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire. While mixture is coming to a boil, add coloring to give desired shade. Use coloring which fruit acids do not fade. As soon as mixture boils, add certo, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil 
and boil hard for one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about six glasses or six fluid ounces each. Pomegranate jelly, four cups or two pounds juice, seven and a half cups or three and a quarter pounds sugar, one bottle Serto. To prepare juice, separate and crush the edible portion of ten to twelve fully ripe pomegranates. Do not remove seeds. Place in jelly bag and squeeze out juice. Measure sugar and juice into large saucepan and mix. Bring to a boil over hottest fire and at once add serto, stirring constantly. Then bring to a full rolling boil and boil hard one half minute. Remove from fire, skim, pour quickly. Paraffin hot jelly at once. Mix about 11 glasses or 6 fluid ounces each. End of section 9. Read by Helen Cole, USA, 2023. Section 10 of Serto, a shortcut to better jams and jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Stacy M. Serto, a shortcut to better jams and jellies by General Foods Corporation. Important do's and don'ts for jelly makers. News about pectin. Don't double Serto recipes. Better color and flavor and more certain results are obtained from single batches. Do use fully ripe fruit of the best possible color and flavor. Taste fruit, and if it lacks tartness, add the juice of two medium lemons, one quarter cup, when adding sugar. Do prepare fruit exactly as the recipes direct. Do not simmer before crushing or squeezing unless recipes specify cooking. For crushing fruit, a food chopper is convenient. Do measure sugar and fruit exactly with the same standard one-half pint measuring cup, level full, or weigh both. A standard measuring cup holds one-half pint sugar, seven ounces by weight, or one-half pint fruit or juice, eight ounces by weight. Do use a large enough kettle so that your mixture has room enough to boil hard. A kettle of six to eight quart capacity is recommended. If the six quart size is used for jam, Add one quarter teaspoon butter with sugar to reduce foaming. Don't confuse a gentle simmering boil with the full rolling boil specified in Serto recipes. A full rolling boil is a high tumbling boil that cannot be stirred down. Do time the full rolling boil by the clock. Do stir and skim jams by turns for just five minutes before pouring. This slight cooling helps prevent bloating fruit. Don't expose jellies and jams to dust or dampness after they are made. Spoilage is caused by the growth of yeast and mold plants, which are usually carried by dust. Use clean glasses, new paraffin, and clean covers. Paraffin hot jelly and jam at once. Fill glasses only to within one half inch of top. Store in a cool, dry place. Don't judge the texture of your jellies or jams too hastily. Serto recipes are designed to give an ideal set at the time they are most apt to be used. Many grow progressively firmer for a week to a month after they are made. News about pectin. Do you know that pectin, which helps you make delicious jams and jellies, plays a role in medicine too? Doctors have long used apple pectin in the treatment of diarrhea, especially with young children. Good results here have led to further discoveries of the effectiveness of pectin in the treatment of many intestinal disorders, and also in the dressing of wounds and burns. Pectin, made by the makers of Serto, is being used in several of these scientific studies. Because this is a subject of active scientific interest, it seems to us news in which you might be interested. These facts are given solely as a matter of information. The makers of Serto wish neither to prescribe nor recommend. End of section 10.
section eleven of certo a shortcut to better jams and jellies this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org read by betty b certo a shortcut to better jams and jellies by general foods corporation blackberry jam blackberry jam boysenberry jam dewberry jam crushed strawberry jam youngberry jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit seven cups three pounds sugar one half bottle surto to prepare fruit grind about two quarts fully ripe berries or crush completely one layer at a time so that each berry is reduced to a pulp measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in surto stir and skim for just five minutes to cool slightly to prevent floating fruit pour quickly paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each note new combination jams use above recipe preparing four cups fruit from a two-quart mixture of two or more of the berries listed above sliced strawberry jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit six cups two pounds ten ounces sugar one half bottle surto to prepare fruit cut about two quarts of fully ripe berries in halves lengthwise large berries in quarters add one cup sugar mix and let stand fifteen minutes this cup of sugar is in addition to the six cups specified above measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle packing fruit into cup and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in surto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about nine glasses six fluid ounces each jam from canned fruit use unsweetened fruit follow recipe for fresh fruit jam substituting one quarter cup lemon juice for one quarter cup of the prepared fruit specified for fresh fruit jam recipes see index to jam recipes red currant jam gooseberry jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit seven and one half cups three and one quarter pound sugar one half bottle surto to prepare fruit crush thoroughly or grind about two pounds fully ripe fruit measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in surto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each spiced currant relish four cups two pounds prepared fruit seven and one half cups three and one quarter pound sugar one half bottle surto to prepare fruit crush thoroughly or grind about two pounds fully ripe currants add one teaspoon cloves and one teaspoon cinnamon one fourth cup water and one fourth cup vinegar bring to a boil simmer cover ten minutes measure sugar into large kettle add prepared fruit mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in surto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each peach jam pear jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit seven and one half cups three and one quarter pounds sugar one bottle surto to prepare fruit peel about three pounds fully ripe fruit grind or chop very fine if desired about three teaspoons spice may be added if peaches lack tartness add one quarter cup lemon juice in addition to four cups prepared fruit measure sugar and prepared fruit tightly packed into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove kettle from fire and stir in surto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses 
six fluid ounces each. End of section 11. Section 12 of Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Fresh Pineapple Jam. Four cups, two pounds prepared fruit, seven cups, three pounds sugar, one bottle serto to prepare fruit pare two medium fully ripe pineapples chop very fine or grind using finest knife a food chopper measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses. Six fluid ounces each. Rhubarb jam. Three cups, one and one half pounds prepared fruit. Five cups, two and one quarter pound sugar. One half bottle serto. To prepare fruit, slice fine or chop about two pounds rhubarb. Do not peel. Red stock rhubarb gives the best color. Add one cup sugar. Let stand 15 minutes. This cup of sugar is in addition to the five cups specified above. If desired, add one teaspoon ginger. Red coloring may be added. Use coloring which fruit acids do not fade. Measure sugar into large kettle, then prepared fruit, solidly packing, filling up each cup with water. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute, Remove from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly, paraffin at once. Makes about eight glasses, six fluid ounces each. Red raspberry and currant jam. Four and one half cups, two and one quarter pounds prepared fruit, seven cups, three pounds sugar, one half bottle serto. To prepare fruit, crush about one and one half pounds fully ripe currants. Remove seeds and skins by sieving. Crush about one quarter fully ripe raspberries, combined fruits, measure sugar into large kettle, add prepared fruit, mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute, then remove kettle from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly, paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, six fluid ounces each fresh apricot jam three cups one and one half pounds prepared fruit one quarter cup lemon juice seven cups three pounds sugar one half bottle serto to prepare fruit pit about two pounds fully ripe apricots cut into small pieces and crush thoroughly or grind do not peel squeeze juice of two medium lemons measure sugar prepared fruit and lemon juice into large kettle Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute, remove from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about nine glasses, six fluid ounces each. Dried apricot jam. Four cups, two pounds prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. One bottle serto. To prepare fruit, add three and one half cups water and juice of one lemon to one half pound apricots. Cover, let stand four hours or overnight. Drain, grind, or chop fine and mix with juice. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared fruit. Mix well, bringing to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute, remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes boil quickly paraffin at once makes about 11 glasses six fluid ounces each end of section 12. section 13 of serto a shortcut to better jams and jellies this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain 
For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Grape Jam. Five cups, two and one half pounds prepared fruit, seven and one half cups, three and one quarter pound sugar, one half bottle Serto. To prepare fruit, slip skins from about three and one half pounds fully ripe grapes simmer pulp covered five minutes remove seeds by sieving chop or grind skins and add to pulp if wild grapes malagas or other tight skin grapes are used stem crush and simmer with one half cup water thirty minutes sieve and measure use four and one half cups prepared fruit and one quarter cup lemon juice measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about twelve glasses six fluid ounces each fresh fig jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit one half cup lemon juice seven and one half cups three and one quarter pound sugar one half bottle serto to prepare fruit remove stem ends from about three pounds fully ripe black figs with white figs add four cups boiling water and one quarter cup soda let stand five minutes then pour off liquid wash thoroughly and drain crush thoroughly or grind squeeze juice of four medium lemons measure sugar prepared fruit and lemon juice into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove kettle from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each dried fig jam three cups one and three quarter pounds prepared fruit five cups two and one quarter pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare fruit chop fine three-quarter pounds stemmed stewing figs add two cups water and juice of two medium lemons mix measure sugar into large kettle add prepared fruit filling up the last cup with water if necessary mix well bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about nine glasses six fluid ounces each gooseberry and red raspberry jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit six and one half cups two and three quarter pounds sugar one half bottle serto to prepare fruit crush thoroughly or grind about one pound fully ripe gooseberries and one quart fully ripe raspberries combined fruits measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each dried apricot and pineapple jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit seven cups three pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare fruit add two cups water to one quarter pound apricots cover and let stand four hours or overnight drain fruit grind or chop fine and mix with juice crush well or grind one medium fully ripe pineapple or use one number two can crushed pineapple measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute then remove kettle from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about eleven glasses six fluid ounces each end of section thirteen Section 14 of Serto, A Shortcut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Anthony Will. 
Certo, a shortcut to better jams and jellies by General Foods Corporation. Strawberry and pineapple jam. Blueberry jam, huckleberry jam. Grape conserve, peach marmalade. Strawberry and pineapple jam. Four cups, two pounds prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. Half bottle Certo. To prepare fruit, crush completely or grind about one quart fully ripe berries. Each berry must be reduced to a pulp. Cut fine or grind one medium fully ripe pineapple or use one number two can crushed pineapple. Combined fruits. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about ten glasses. Six fluid ounces each. Blueberry Jam Huckleberry Jam Four and a half cups, two and one quarter pounds prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. One bottle Certo. To prepare fruit, crush about one and a half quarts fully ripe berries. Add juice of one medium lemon and grated rind of a half a lemon. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about twelve glasses, six fluid ounces each. Grape Conserve Four cups two pounds prepared fruit. One quarter cup lemon juice. Seven cups three pounds sugar. One cup nut meats finely chopped. Half pound seeded raisins. Half bottle Certo. To prepare fruit, stem and crush well about three pounds fully ripe grapes. Add one quarter cup water and simmer. Covered thirty minutes. Remove seeds and skins by sieving. If desired, prepare grapes as in grape jam, page 22. Squeeze juice from two lemons and grate rind. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add nut meats, raisins, lemon juice, rind, and prepared fruit, filling up the last cup with water if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about twelve glasses, six fluid ounces each. Peach Marmalade Four cups, two pounds prepared fruit. Seven and a half cups, three and one quarter pound sugar. One bottle Certo. To prepare fruit, peel off the yellow rind of one orange and one lemon with a sharp knife, leaving as much of the white part of the fruit as possible. Put yellow rinds through the food chopper twice. Add three quarter cup water and one sixteenth tablespoon soda to the ground rind and simmer, covered for ten minutes. Cut off the tight skin of the peeled fruit and slip the pulp out of each section. Add pulp and juice to the juice of an additional lemon to the rind and simmer, covered twenty minutes longer. Peel about one and a half pounds fully ripe peaches. Pit and grind or chop very fine. Then combine fruits. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared fruit, filling up the last cup with water if necessary. Mix well. Bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin hot marmalade at once. Makes about eleven glasses, six fluid ounces each. End of section 14. Section 15 of Certo, A Short Cut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Jennifer Beckett Wood. Certo, A Short Cut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Plum Jam and Prune Jam to Citrus Fruit Marmalade Plum Jam, Prune Jam Four and a half cups, two and a quarter pounds, prepared fruit. Seven and a half cups, three and a quarter pounds, sugar. 
half a bottle of surto. To prepare fruit, pit about three pounds fully ripe fruit. Do not peel. Cut into small pieces and crush thoroughly. Add one half cup water and simmer covered five minutes. Sour clingstone plums give best colour and flavour. If sweet plums or freestone prunes are used, substitute one half cup lemon juice for one half cup of the prepared fruit specified. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle, mix well, and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in surto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about eleven glasses, six fluid ounces each. Cherry jam. Four cups, two pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds, sugar. One bottle, surto. To prepare fruit, pit about two and a half pounds, fully ripe cherries. Crush thoroughly or grind. If sweet cherries are used, substitute one quarter cup lemon juice for one quarter cup of the prepared fruit specified. For stronger cherry flavour, add one quarter teaspoon almond extract before pouring. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared fruit, packing each cup solidly and filling up the last cup with water if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in surto. Then stir and skim by turns for just five minutes to cool slightly to prevent floating fruit. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, six fluid ounces each. Sweet Cherry Conserve Use recipe for cherry jam above, adding juice and grated rind of two medium lemons, half pound chopped seeded raisins, and one cup finely chopped nut meats when sugar is added to prepared fruit. Makes about 13 glasses, six fluid ounces each. Citrus Fruit Marmalade Three and a half cups, two pounds, prepared fruit, Five cups, two and a quarter pounds sugar, half a bottle surto. To prepare fruit, remove skins in quarters. Lay quarters flat, shave off and discard about one half of white part. With a very sharp knife, cut remaining rind into fine shreds. Add one and a half cups water and one eighth teaspoon soda. Bring to a boil and simmer, covered, for just ten minutes stirring occasionally. Cut off tight skin of peeled fruit and slip pulp out of each section. Do not drain cooked rind. Add pulp and juice and one cup sugar. This one cup sugar is in addition to the five cups specified above. If oranges are very sweet, add juice of one extra medium lemon. Simmer covered 20 minutes longer. Measure sugar and prepared fruit, solidly packed, into large kettle, flooding each cup with juice or, if necessary, with water. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in surto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly, paraffin at once, makes about eight glasses, six fluid ounces each. For orange marmalade, use three medium oranges and two medium lemons. For grapefruit marmalade, use two medium grapefruit. For orange and grapefruit marmalade, use two medium oranges and one small grapefruit. For orange, grapefruit and lemon marmalade, use one of each fruit of medium size. End of section 15. Section 16 of Certo, a shortcut to better jams and jellies. 
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Jennifer Beckett Wood. Certo, a shortcut to better jams and jellies by General Foods Corporation. Quince jam to red raspberry jam and loganberry jam. Quince jam. Five cups, two and a half pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds sugar. Half a bottle, certo. To prepare fruit, peel and core about three pounds fully ripe quinces. Grind, using finest knife of food chopper. Add one and a half cups water and juice of one lemon. Bring to a boil, cover and simmer 15 minutes. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about eleven glasses. Six fluid ounces each. Cranberry jam. Spiced cranberry jam. Cranberry conserve. Seven and a half cups. Three and three quarter pounds. Prepared fruit. Five and a half cups. Two pounds six ounces. Sugar. Half bottle certo. To prepare fruit, add four cups water to about two pounds fully ripe cranberries. For spiced cranberry jam, add one half teaspoon ground cloves and one teaspoon cinnamon. For cranberry conserve, add one cup seeded raisins, chopped. Bring to a boil, cover and simmer ten minutes. Sieve pulp if desired. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared fruit, mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about twelve glasses. Six fluid ounces each. Cranberry marmalade. Six cups, three pounds, prepared fruit. Eight cups, three and a half pounds, sugar, half bottle certo. To prepare fruit, quarter two oranges and one lemon, seed, slice thin. Add three cups water and one eighth teaspoon soda. Bring to a boil, cover and simmer fifteen minutes. Add about one pound fully ripe cranberries and simmer covered ten minutes longer. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared fruit, filling up the last cup with water if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly, paraffin at once. Makes about 13 glasses, six fluid ounces each. Ginger marmalade, three and a half cups, one three quarter pounds prepared fruit, two cups, one pound, crystallized ginger, chopped, four and a half cups, two pounds, sugar, half bottle certo. Use three medium oranges and one medium lemon. Add ginger with sugar. Follow recipe for citrus fruit marmalade, page 27. Makes about ten glasses. Six fluid ounces each. Black raspberry jam. Three and a half cups, one and three quarter pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds, sugar. Half bottle certo. To prepare fruit, crush thoroughly or grind about two and a half quarts fully ripe black raspberries. Sieve part of pulp to remove some of seeds. Add juice of two medium lemons. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in certo. Stir and skim for five minutes. 
pour quickly paraffin hot jam at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each red raspberry jam loganberry jam four cups two pounds prepared fruit six and a half cups two and three quarter pounds sugar half bottle serto to prepare fruit crush or grind about two quarts fully ripe berries measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute remove from fire and stir in serto stir and skim for five minutes pour quickly paraffin at once makes about ten glasses six fluid ounces each end of section sixteen section seventeen of serto a short cut to better jams and jellies this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Serto, A Short Cut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Tomato Relish to Blueberry and Red Raspberry Jam. Tomato Relish. Three cups one and one half pounds prepared tomatoes six and one half cups two and three quarter pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare tomatoes scald peel and crush about two and one half pounds ripe tomatoes or use canned tomatoes boil four cups crushed tomatoes 20 minutes uncovered stirring occasionally Add one fourth cup lemon juice and grated rind of one lemon. For use with meats, add Worcestershire sauce to taste or one half teaspoon each ground cloves, allspice, and cinnamon. Measure sugar into large kettle. Add prepared tomatoes, mix well, and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove kettle from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim for five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about nine glasses, six fluid ounces each. Canned Pineapple Jam. Four cups, two pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds sugar one bottle serto to prepare fruit use canned crushed pineapple add juice of two medium lemons measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire stir constantly before and while boiling boil hard one minute Remove from fire and stir in serto. Stir and skim by turns for just five minutes to cool slightly to prevent floating fruit. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Makes about 11 glasses, six fluid ounces each. Strawberry and rhubarb jam. Four cups, two pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds, sugar, one half bottle serto. To prepare fruit, grind about one quart fully ripe strawberries or crush completely one layer at a time so that each berry is reduced to a pulp. Slice fine or chop, do not peel, about one pound rhubarb. Red stalked rhubarb gives best color. Combine fruits. Measure sugar and prepared fruit into large kettle, filling up last cup with water if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. 
remove from fire and stir in sarto. Then stir and skim by turns for just five minutes to cool slightly to prevent floating fruit. Pour quickly. Paraffin hot jam at once. Mix about ten glasses, six fluid ounces each. Blueberry and red raspberry jam. Four cups, two pounds, prepared fruit. Seven cups, three pounds, sugar. One half bottle sarto. To prepare fruit, crush or grind about one quart each fully ripe blueberries and raspberries. Combine fruits. Measure sugar and prepare fruit into large kettle, filling up less cup with water if necessary. Mix well and bring to a full rolling boil over hottest fire. Stir constantly before and while boiling. Boil hard one minute. Remove from fire and stir in sarto. Then stir and skim by turns for just five minutes. Pour quickly. Paraffin at once. Mix about ten glasses, six fluid ounces each. End of section 17. Read by Marissa D. Six, Largo, Florida, July 1st, 2023. Section 18 of Sarto, A Short Cut to Better Jams and Jellies. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Sarto, A Short Cut to Better Jams and Jellies by General Foods Corporation. Perfect Jams and Jellies. To Mrs. A shows Mrs. B that Serto pays for itself. Perfect Jams and Jellies Have you ever stopped to think why certain jellies and jams walk off with the blue ribbons in jelly contests and win cheers from all the family? Just what does stand for perfection in a jelly or a jam? The Bureau of Home Economics Scorecard for Jelly rates jellies for flavor, texture, and color, and gives 78% of a score of 100 for perfect flavor and texture. Flavor is defined as free from excessive sweetness, acid, or overcooked flavor. Perfect texture is jelly that holds its shape when turned onto a plate, but quivers when the plate is moved. Why Serto Recipes Win Serto jelly recipes are developed with fully ripe fruit instead of the underripe fruit commonly used in old-fashioned jelly making. They take you a long way toward perfect flavor. And Serto jelly recipes are designed to give best texture at the time the jelly is most apt to be used. They take account of the fact that many jellies grow progressively firmer for a week to a month after they are made. About the ideal texture for jams, there is far less agreement than for jellies. Some prefer jams that hold their shapes. Others like softer jams. Either texture may be had with Serto jams. If a jam seems stiffer than desired, break it up with a fork before turning out of the glass. The Short Boil Method Scores of state fair champions in jam and jelly making, and millions of other jelly makers, too, use Serto and the short boil method of jelly making. They know they can depend on Serto for sure results, time and money saving, and better, richer flavored jams and jellies. You may find that Serto recipes call for more sugar than you usually use. Remember that with Serto, no fruit juice boils away in steam, and you usually get half again more glasses. Thus, the extra sugar takes care of the extra juice. How to make jams and jellies with Serto, using 25% to 50% less sugar. In any Serto recipe, two cups, 
one and one half pounds of light corn syrup may be substituted for two cups fourteen ounces of sugar required results will not be satisfactory if more than two cups of corn syrup are used mrs a shows mrs b that sarto pays for itself mrs a and mrs b both wanted to make some raspberry jam each had two quarts of berries to begin with and after cleaning and crushing them each got the same amount of prepared fruit four cups both mrs a and mrs b started at nine o'clock mrs a added six and one half cups of sugar to her fruit then mrs a simply brought her fruit and sugar to a tumbling boil boiled for one minute removed it from the stove and added one half bottle of sarto the jam was done and it had all of the flavor of fresh ripe fruit mrs a was finished at nine twelve mrs b added four cups of sugar then mrs b following the old-fashioned cup for cup recipe had to boil her fruit and sugar about thirty minutes before the jam thickened this long boiling evaporated more than a third of the prepared fruit and carried off most of the natural fresh fruit flavor in steam mrs b was finished at nine forty five mrs a got ten glasses of jam from her two quarts of berries mrs b took three times as long and got only six glasses of jam mrs a had shown mrs b exactly what she meant when she said sarto really pays for itself end of section eighteen read by marissa d six largo florida july first twenty twenty three end of sarto a short cut to better jams and jellies by general foods corporation